Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ella and today's video style is going to be a bit different from my past videos. Right now I am kind of experimenting a little bit, but anyways, I've been using my M1 MacBook Air a lot and really enjoying it. So today I thought I would show you guys a day in the life with the M1 MacBook Air, basically how I use it on a daily basis. And as I show you guys my day, I will also be giving reviews of how the MacBook Air performs for each of the different ways that I use it. And let's just begin. Okay, so after I get up and get ready, I go to my desk and unplug the MacBook Air, which has been charging through the night. And I usually don't plug it in again until the night because the battery life of this laptop is seriously amazing. Like it really does last all day. Okay, and then I go get a coffee. I drink some and then I begin to check some emails. I don't know why, but that's just what I like to check first thing in the morning. And after some emails, I check my messages on Facebook Messenger, which is actually an app on the M1 MacBooks. And I really appreciate this because now I don't have to go to Google Chrome in order to check my messages. I can just open up the app. Then before I start working, I like to watch some YouTube. And recently, I've been obsessed with watching hauls for some reason. And after usually a while, I somehow convince myself to close YouTube and finally get to work. So then I open up Notion because all of my to-do lists are there. and then I make my to-do list for the day. And for anyone who's wondering, the performance of the Notion app is great on the M1 MacBook. All the pages load pretty fast, and overall, there are no issues with its performance. Okay, and then I start tackling my to-do list. So I usually start with my lectures, and the setup that I like to have is this three windows setup. So on my MacBook, I have my lecture video on one side of it, and check out this clean snap. So I actually enable this snapping feature through an application called Better Snap Tool. It costs $3 and it's seriously the best $3 that I've ever spent because it just makes window snapping so easy and window snapping really helps me organize my visual space on my laptop. And then I open up OneNote, which is actually my favorite note taking app, and I snap it to the other side. Then I open up Sidecar, which allows me to extend my MacBook screen onto my iPad. And I drag my lecture slides onto my iPad. I really like this three window setup because I can listen to lecture while scrolling through the lecture slides at my own pace in order to take my notes. Then I start watching my lectures and also taking notes. And now I just want to talk about some of the physical features of this MacBook Air. And first I want to talk about the keyboard because I really do love this keyboard. It is the magic keyboard and it feels great to type on. It feels very solid, very sturdy, and it also sounds really good too. So please enjoy some keyboard ASMR. And next, I want to talk about the screen, which is really nice too. And actually for this MacBook Air generation, it now supports the P3 wide color gamut, which allows the display to show off a more vibrant, accurate, and true to life image. And the P3 wide color gamut is definitely a nice upgrade from previous generations. However, I will say that the bezels are a bit too thick for my liking, especially the top one, so I really do hope that Apple will change the thickness of the bezels in the next generation. Also, I just want to let you guys know that I don't actually do this much typing during lectures. I usually take screenshots more because I just think that that's more efficient. I show typing for this video in order to show you guys the nice keyboard, but uh, this is usually what I look like while I'm watching the lectures. Thank you. 
And of course, I join a Zoom meeting. And even though 99% of the time I don't join with my video on, I still want to show you guys the webcam because the webcam quality of this laptop is definitely a lot better than the quality of previous MacBooks. It is still a 720p webcam, so that is a little bit disappointing, but it does have better color, better white balance. So overall, it definitely makes my face look a lot better than the webcams of previous MacBooks. And during my study breaks, I usually like to watch YouTube or play Among Us. I love how now it is an app on the M1 Max. However, I cannot full screen this game, which is kind of weird. I don't know why I can't. Now, pre-virus times, I would have gone to the library or the coffee shop, but of course, this year it's different and really the only other place that I can go to is my bed, so I go there. And I really love how light this laptop is. It's very portable and easy to carry. I really feel that I can work anywhere with this, including on my bed, on the couch. Like, I can comfortably balance this on one hand. So yeah, I really love the lightness of this laptop. And also, I almost forgot to mention, but it is completely silent. There is no fan in it. And the silence sounds amazing. Like, I'm telling you guys, the silence sounds much better than the fan noise. Okay, and after I'm done with schoolwork for the day, I usually either edit a video or stream, and I really can't use the M1 MacBook Air for these two tasks. Trust me, I've tried, it did not go well. So I have to use my MacBook Pro 16 inch for these two tasks. This MacBook Air is fanless, so even though right now like it's clearly dying, <laughs> <laughs> while streaming like it clearly can't keep up with my stream like the fans aren't um going off so as for 4k editing on this macbook air i did try it once and overall it went okay like it definitely lagged a bit too much for my liking at times but 4k editing is still doable it's just that the editing performance of my macbook pro is just a lot better than the macbook air which is why i still use my macbook pro for editing i also think that the editing performance of this macbook air could also be limited by the fact that it only has 8 gigs of ram i think if I got 16 gigs of RAM instead, then it would be able to edit 4K videos pretty well. But of course, I don't know for sure because I don't have the one with 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, and then at night, I return to my MacBook Air. I like to wind down by watching some YouTube videos or Korean dramas. And before, I used to always lie in bed with my iPad Pro, just because my MacBook Pro is really big and heavy, and honestly, it's kind of uncomfortable to lay down with it. But like I've already mentioned, this M1 MacBook Air is super light, and honestly, it's pretty comfortable laying down with it. So now, I actually prefer watching my videos on this MacBook Air. All right, so that was my day in the life slash review of the M1 MacBook Air. I hope you guys like this new video format. I was kind of getting bored of sit down videos, so I decided to change it up a little bit. Please let me know if you liked it or not. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech related content. I guess that will be it for this video, so I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye!